Taking a closer look at the stories making waves around the world, Syrian forces that retook Raqqa from the Islamic State group are surveying the carnage not only in terms of damage to the city, but the hundreds of lives lost as well. We also have the latest outlook from the Federal Reserve and the ongoing controversy over NFL players taking a knee for the U.S. national anthem. For the latest on these, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Adam, give us the latest and the current situation in Raqqa first. Uh, well, Simon, reports say that during the course of the battle for Raqqa, 80% of the city was reduced to little more than piles of rubble. The violence has left over 3,000 people dead, but the death toll is expected to rise as many remain, m remain missing in the city. And for a closer look at this, our Kim Yosun reports. U.S.-backed Syrian forces clear landmines and roads in the northern city of Raqqa on Wednesday a day after the Islamic State group was driven out of its de facto capital. Most of the city is now in rubble, making it difficult to identify the buildings. The battle for Raqqa, which started in early June, has killed over 3,000 people, including more than 1,100 civilians. The death toll is expected to increase as many more remain missing. The fight for the city has also displaced approximately 270,000 residents who are in critical need of aid. Yet they are joyful the Syrian Democratic Forces have liberated the city. This is a historic day for all of us. Many civilians were freed from the inside. We can say there were hundreds of them. Although it will take time and a lot of money to rebuild the city, the Syrian government says it will focus on restoring Raqqa so its residents can return home as soon as possible. Kim Yosan, Arirang News.